Today's story is the Sheep Fairy, When Wishes Have Wings, by Ruth Louise Symes, illustrated by David Sim. This is Wendy Woolcote. Wendy likes eating grass, eating grass, eating grass, eating grass, eating grass, eating grass, sleeping, eating grass, eating grass. One day, Wendy was eating grass when a tiny voice said, Help me, please help me. It was a fairy stuck in a brambly bush. Wendy was a kind sort of sheep, so she ate all of the brambles around the fairy and set her free. Oh, thank you, said the fairy. As a special reward for helping me, I'll give you one wish. What would you like? Well, said Wendy, thinking hard. Mostly, I like eating grass and sleeping. But you can do both of those already, said the fairy. There must be something else you dream about. Oh, yes, said Wendy. She'd never told anyone about her secret dream before, but very quietly she told the fairy. Speak up, the fairy said. I can't hear you. I dream I'm flying, said Wendy, flying through the moonlit sky. Wendy looked around quickly to see if any of the other sheep had heard her. They all had their heads down eating grass. Wendy started to eat grass too. It was delicious. When the moon comes up and the stars come out, your wish will come true, said the fairy as she flew off. Wendy was much too busy eating grass to listen. When the moon came up and the stars came out, Wendy had a very strange feeling indeed. She felt like she was floating upward. The field was far below. Wendy had grown a pair of beautiful sheep-sized fairy wings on her back. She flapped them up and down. Bah! Wendy bleated to the other sheep. Then she wiggled her legs around as though she were running in the sky. Ba ba ba! Look at me! I'm flying! But the other sheep were fast asleep. Soon she got the hang of flying forward, backward, upward, downward, in loop de loops in figure eights. Wendy flew over the farmer's house and through the town and out to sea. Flying was wonderful. It was even better than she dreamed it could be. On the way back, Wendy saw a wolf strolling down the lane toward the sheep's field. Wake up! Wake up! There's a wolf coming! Wendy cried, but the sheep kept on sleeping. Wake up! Wake up! There's a wolf coming, and he's coming to get you! But the sheep still didn't wake up, and it was almost too late. The wolf was in the sheep's field. Wendy had to do something. Wendy flew straight at the wolf. Leave my friends alone, she shouted. The next morning, the sheep in Wendy's field were doing what they did every morning. Eating grass, eating grass, eating grass, eating grass. I had a really strange dream last night, said Sheep One. 
Me two, said sheep two. Me three, said sheep three. And all the other sheep agreed. Ba, ba, ba. I dreamed that Wendy could fly. That's what I dreamed. Me too. Us too. But when they went to ask Wendy about it, she was fast asleep.